One of the best ways to share your Unity project with your friends is to use GitHub. It also allows you to backup your project, so that later when something goes terribly wrong, you can just go back. GitHub allows you to create a repository somewhere in the cloud for free, where you can just upload pretty much any files you want. To set up the GitHub with our Unity project, we'll first go to our browser, go to github.com and you'll first need to sign in to your account. So just fill in the password and the email address. Then we'll go to desktop.github.com where we can download application for the desktop, which will allow us to push the changes to the GitHub repository. When first opening the application, you will need to sign in as well as fill in the email. I would suggest you to put the email the same as we have signed in with. You can also later change it by going to file, options and git where you can see your name and email. So don't worry, you can change it later. And now, as I said, we will need to create the repository. It doesn't matter if you first create your Unity project and then the repository, the process is still the same. So click to the top left corner and we can add. Because we don't have any repositories yet, we will create new one, give it some name. You are not allowed to have any spaces in the name. Then you can give it some description if you want. Then the local path, so where the repository and also the project will be. So I'll put it, for example, to the desktop. You can also add readme, which is just a text file with longer description of the repository. And then the important part is the git ignore, which will ignore some files from the project. This might sound like something that you don't want, but it will ignore only the temporary files of the Unity, such as the libraries and all of that stuff that we don't need. So we can just select for the git ignore, we can search for Unity and create the repo. Here in this changes tab, we would see the changes that we currently have made and can publish. And in the history, we'll see history of all of the changes that we have made. So we can see that I made only the initial commit, which is when creating the repo. So we have the git ignore and git attributes. To add the project to the git, I will just open Unity Hub and create new project. So I will create basic 2D project and again put it somewhere to the desktop. You obviously don't have to be creating new project if you already have some. So I will leave it just as empty project, close the Unity. And now we have the two folders. One is with the git, which is containing just these two attributes. And then I have the test project, which is containing all of the Unity stuff. So what we'll do is move all of the folders from our Unity project to the GitHub repository. So I will just take all of them and move them to the GitHub. And here in the changes tab, you can see all of the changes that we made and it is successfully ignoring all of the files that we don't want to be sending, such as the libraries and so on. So now we can give it some summary and commit to main. This is not committing it to the cloud, it is just on your PC. So we can publish repository here, which will actually publish it to the cloud and other people will be able to see it. So give it some name, description if you want, and depending if you want to have it private or not. So if it is private, only you will be able to see it and members of your team. If it is public, other people will be able to see it, but they will still not be able to edit it. So it is up to you. I will keep it private and publish. Here you can see that it fetched just now. So all of the files have been successfully transferred to the git. Now we can again go to github.com, so click this button in the top left and here we can see all of the repositories. So the test project is the new one and if I would make it public, this is what other people would see. So they could click the code and either open it with the github desktop, just open it with the application and download it, or they could download it as a zip file. Now how do we add some changes to this repo? So I can open Unity Hub. But when I try opening the project, it obviously doesn't work because we change the path of it. So we can just remove this one, hit open and open project from disk and select the GitHub repo, which I have in the desktop under the folder git. 
and the test project, which is containing all of the files. Now, as we have successfully opened the Unity project, we can try adding some stuff. So I have added just a material and simple square to the scene. Now, when we go to the GitHub, you can see the changes. The green icon is telling us that we added something and the yellow is that we just changed. So I changed the scene, added the material. Again, we can give it some summary and we can commit. Again, don't forget to push to the origin. And now in the history, you can see all of the changes. So first is the initial commit, then I publish the new project and then the material will be seen. So now in the history, if you would want, you can revert some changes. So right click and revert changes and so on. Now I will show you how to download the project from the cloud. So I will just delete the local copy of this project. So I have deleted the whole folder with all of the files. Now we can click this top left button, add, clone repository and choose one of our repositories. So I will choose the test project and select the folder where you want to have the project. You can see that it added us the folder here with the test project. So I can open Unity Hub, hit open, add project from disk, select the folder in the desktop, which is this one, add project. And here we have the project with all of the changes that you made. Nice. If you want to add some other people to your GitHub repo, we can again go to the browser, github.com, select the repository, go to settings, collaborators, and here you can just easily add people. It is really simple. And last sad thing that I will need to do with this repository is to delete it. So we will go to general, go all the way down. And here, if you want, you can delete the repo. You can see that it is really simple to add your Unity project to GitHub so that you can share it with your friends or just back it up. I hope that this video was useful. If you have any questions, drop them down to the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you in next videos. Bye! Thanks for watching this video till the end. If you are looking for a Unity, C Sharp or Bolt tutor, then I am here for you, so feel free to send me a message to my Gmail and take a look at my website for more info. I can help you with your personal projects or teach you anything about game development you would want to know. You are welcome.